Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining home with Mrs. K. Today I'm gonna to be quickly showing you guys how I've done the kids' Easter boxes, how I decorated the tables for Good Friday and also Easter Sunday. So it might be a very, very quick video, but I thought I would just put it together and show you guys anyway. So I'm just about to decorate and set the table for Good Friday. So usually for Good Friday, I like to set the table out for the kids. So it's something for them and we always have a fish tea. Normally we go to like the chip shop, but this year we thought, you know what? We'll save a bit of money because it can be quite expensive. It's like 10 pounds now for fish and chips. By the time you bought that four times, that's like 40 quid. So we picked these up in Tesco. We actually gave them a trial last week. Oh my gosh, honestly, it was just like eating from the chip shop. They were absolutely gorgeous. So we got them again for this week and you get two of those, which is two nine to nine. So it's only cost us six pounds for the four, four pieces of fish. And then obviously we'll just add our own chips and pop it back in there and then we'll go and decorate the table i still don't have my tripod so i'm gonna have to balance my phone somewhere just hope for the best
So here it is guys, all finished. I do hope that you can see it properly. I have accidentally turned the camera around the wrong way. But yeah, here it is for the kiddies, all done for Good Friday. I love it, it's really, really cute. I'm just quickly now gonna show you guys what I'm gonna put in the kids' Easter basket. These are really lovely actually. I got these in Poundland for just three pound each and I thought, you know what, instead of using like an Easter basket or an Easter bag, I'll get these because then they're nice little storage baskets that I can just keep around the house to kind of store bits and pieces in. So I've got two exactly the same. And what I've done is I've tried to buy as similar stuff as I can to just pop in their boxes. So I have got Jake a pair of short pajamas. So he has got those. And then I've also got Jessica some short pajamas as well. You guys might have remembered these from a haul that I did a while ago. I got from Matalan. So I'm gonna fold them up and pop them in here as well. Hers in there. I got Jess some bunny fluffy socks, and then I got Jake some novelty gaming ones because obviously he's you know way more older than her, so it's really hard to kind of get him you know Easter stuff. It's not so bad for her because she's like you know she's only 10, but Jake is 15, so I can't really be getting him bunny socks, even though I'd love to, but he'd probably kill me. <laughs> So I'm trying to keep it as kind of similar as I can. So we've both got pyjamas, both got some socks. Um, and then I've also got both of them like a mystery bag. So Jessica has got the Stranger Things one, which I'm going to put here. And then Jake has got this one, Oops, upside down, which is the mystery um, Demon Slayer one. He has got that. And then I've also got them both a can of silly string so the blue one for jake pink one for jessica i also got that in Poundland as well i've got them both some mini kinder chocolate eggs i don't think you can ever be too old for kinder chocolate can you on each and then i've got jessica this little doll obviously i couldn't get jake a toy or such you know because he is that much older so what i've done is i have got him this demon slayer glass cup for him to put his drinks in i got that in um waterstones bookshop so i got him that so she, would, she can have the doll he can have the cup and then also she has got why do i keep putting things upside down she has got this lilo and stitch um little game to play and then i thought i would get jake one of his books this is brand new he's been desperate to get this it's not been out that long so he's gonna absolutely be over the moon when he sees that in here so i thought yeah i would get him that where she has got the um game i also got her this little teddy bear i got it last year actually in tesco in the sale for 75p i am absolutely positive this was 75p so she has got that and then I've just got Jake this little um, Kinder Bunny to go in there instead of like the actual fluffy bunny. <laughs> I've got him a chocolate bunny. And then I am also going to pop in a £10 Roblox gift card each. But I've had an absolute nightmare this morning trying to find this gift card. So Simon has gone out in the car to try and get me some. So yeah, when I get those, they will also be going in here. And then now I'm just going to fill it with this shredded tissue and then probably try if i can stick some stickers on here just to kind of make it look a bit more eastery and then also they're going to have one of their chocolate easter eggs in here as well so today is now easter sunday guys so i'm just going to show you how i put out the kids easter baskets for this morning so this is jessica's one now that i've added all of the little tissue and stuff and then I popped on some stickers just to make it look a bit more eastery and then there is Jake's one I've popped out Jessica's easter egg um I've just got to get Jake's one he's got an M&M one I've got to pop that out and then I've just popped on some of these games for the kids to play with today but I'm going to show you this what I've done so usually every year I leave a trail of like bunny feet that you get in Poundland or one below but this year I thought it'd be a bit different so I've left out some 
carrots, well not me, the Easter Bunny has dropped some carrots on his way in from the garden. So he's left a nice little trail of carrots all leading up to <laughs> the stuff. And then once the kids have seen these, open their boxes, I'm going to strip the table down and then show you guys how I decorate the table for Easter Sunday. I'm now going to start um, laying the table for Easter Sunday dinner. So I'm going to use this sage green tablecloth. I love the colour of this one. It's so pretty. So I'm going to pop that out first quickly and then use the bits and pieces that I've got in this box. Try and make it look really nice and springy if I can. Hopefully, it turns out how I want it to. So, I'm gonna pop them there and then I'm gonna pop this just running through the middle just for a little bit of decoration just to add some flowers. Just pull those down there a little bit. There we go. And then I've got some napkins, these little reindeer ones, not reindeer, rabbit ones, <laughs> these little rabbit ones that I got from Asda, I'm going to put those on top of the plate. I'm going to pop out while I've got some home bargains to so just put our names on. Got my little egg dish, which I'm just going to pop on there like that. And I'm going to put some little pots of meat sauce and stuff like that out. I've also got these little brown bunnies, which I'm going to use for some decoration. use these rabbits that I got from Home Bargains as some like little centerpieces. I think I'm going to do them on the ends of the table. I think that might look quite pretty. And then I just need to find something to pop in the middle. So let's put the napkins on. I might, maybe I might put these napkins actually on, should I put them on the side? I feel like I need to wrap them up somehow. What about if I fold them in half? I think I should just fold them in half and then just sort of, yeah, that looks quite nice. Let's lay them like that and then we can pop the knives and forks inside just to make the knives and forks look a bit prettier. Put one in half. Excuse me, Mr. Bunny. I have to sit there. Go. Fold that one. Oh, that's looking lovely so far. So I've decided I'm going to use the grass placemats again. So I'm going to pop them on. I might as well use them up, guys. Pop that one here. Pop the napkin on top. Let's get on the side. Oh yeah, that looks a bit better. There's something missing and I cannot put my finger on it, but I will get it to look right. just changed the greenery to this one because the other one just didn't look right and then I've had a little play around with the napkins and stuff and I've decided to keep it this way because I just feel like it looks so much better. So I'm going to finish doing the rest and then I'll show you guys once it's finished. Okay so we've finally got there guys. <laughs> I've managed to set it out and I'm finally happy with it. So here it is. Let me show you up closer. So I decided to just pop the napkins running down the middle just because I do like the reindeer. I do love like how it looks and all springy, but I feel like I just wanted to stick to the rabbits with this table. So I felt like the napkins were just a lot more um, better. So yeah, I've just popped a thin bit of it down the middle with just a little bit of carrot on just to add a bit of colour. These I've just popped on here to hold the forks and knives in. 
and then I've put our little name tags and then I've popped some little Easter bunnies on as well, which I got from Home Bargains. Popped some tulips in the middle and then I filled the bottom bit with some eggs as well. And then the rest of us have got our name tags as well. And then over here, I've just popped, let me take this way, my little pretend carrots on there until we have a dinner and then we can put sauces and stuff on top of there and then my little egg dish I've just popped these little ramekins on to have mint sauce in and apple sauce in so yeah that is my Easter Sunday dinner table guys what do you think do you like it I love it I think it's really cute really simple I haven't spent loads and loads of money trying to do like a really kind of you know wow posh dinner table I've literally spent hardly anything at all tulips I already had the bunny rabbits, a couple of quid from Home Bargains, a few little carrots, which I already have for decoration anyway. Napkins were a pound from Asda. And then, yeah, the eggs I've got from Asda, I already had around the house for decoration, so I've just popped them on. So literally, all I've done is, I've probably spent like 10 pound, I don't know, something like that. And then obviously the tablecloth as well. And then these I already had. So yeah, I've just kind of done the best with what I had really, because I just didn't want to spend you know a massive amount but what i love about it as well is now that it's all green and orange it matches the sideboard a little bit as well but yeah i'm really really happy with it oh and this this was already mine this was above my window so yeah that is my sunday easter dinner table guys so i'm just about to cook the sunday um no i'm just about to cook the sunday roast dinner no I'm just about to cook the Easter Sunday dinner. So I've got my chicken ready. Mash is just waiting. Got some sweet, got some parsnips. I've just tipped the roast potatoes into this dish and I always like to cover them with some chives. It just gives it like a nice taste once they get done. I'm just gonna pop these in. I also need to pop the chicken in actually as well. I've just popped some parsley on the top. guys i've just got to find a quick spot to put these yorkshires in i'm absolutely starving i'm so hungry gosh i need to wash this oven don't i oh look at a nice facial <laughs> Thanks so much for watching today's video guys, see you next time, bye!